We're at the CTA's main supply warehouse uh, to point out uh, essentially uh, millions and millions of dollars of waste uh, that's occurred over the years through poor inventory management. Um, you know, some of these supplies that we see here today, about a third of the warehouse is obsolete supplies uh, worth millions and millions of dollars. Uh, about, about half of all the inventory in this vast 330,000 square foot uh, warehouse has not been used or mo actually moved in inventory parlance in more than two years. Uh, that's a sign of really poor uh, purchasing and supply chain management. That's why today we're announcing that the CTA has begun a process to professionally manage its supply chain and continue to invest in the future of the system rather than uh, what's happened in the last few years where there's been significant cuts and fare hikes and uh, these sort of reforms and the modernization of the CTA will allow us to uh, give us a fighting chance to actually protect service and protect our customers. These steps will improve operations, reduce costs, avoid building up obsolete inventories and increase our ability to plan for the future. The men and women who work in this building do the very best job they can under very difficult circumstances. But for many years, they lack the, the proper tools or sufficient direction, leadership, and support from CTA leadership to make the right decisions that yielded the most efficient and cost-effective results. Well, we're going to move gradually towards a uh, getting private sector expertise. We're going to move towards uh, a first-in-time inventory. We're going to use technology to barcode and track electronically our stock. And we're going to centralize the purchasing decisions in concert with our line managers in the field, our infrastructure uh, and operations people who use these supplies so that we're all on the same page. With dozens of reforms just like these, we've helped whittle $117 million from the CTA's budget deficit. And we have to keep modernizing and reforming the CTA bureaucracy if we're to preserve and improve service for all of our riders at a reasonable cost. This is just one of, of multiple reforms we've made in the eight months since Mayor Manuel took office here at the CTA. Uh, and uh, all of them together uh, you know, have made a difference in terms of saving taxpayers millions, uh, finding other sources of revenue that don't come from taxpayers or the fare box. All that together is meaningful because it means that we can, uh, you know, we can hold down fares. Uh, at least every dollar we, we get from these type of savings is one less dollar we'll need from our customers. And also one more dollar we can put out of the system to make the trains run faster, to make the buses uh, more comfortable.